Hey, kids. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. 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 Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about your particular style of storyboard and what we're going to have access to in our class. Now, a couple things, guys. I do have a printed storyboard that you can find in the Google Classroom that if you have a printer at home, you can go ahead and print off that storyboard and use it. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that here in just a second. However, if you're like, Mr. Riggins, listen, I don't have any paper, or sorry, I don't have a printer. What do I use? All you need is literally some pencils, some paper. It could be paper that has something on the front, right? As long as you have some white paper and some sort of straight edge to use. I've got a box right here that I could use, or I have a level right here I can use. I've got some rulers. Find something that's a straight edge, an edge of a notebook, right? I can take this notebook and use the edge of this notebook for a straight edge as well, okay? So we're gonna talk about that here in just one second, okay? But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the storyboard you guys are going to be using. All right, there you go. That is the storyboard. Now I'm looking at it over here, uh, but obviously how you guys are gonna use your storyboard, uh, the name of the project, this one here is going to be sandwich. Okay, you're gonna be making a storyboard about a sandwich. And then obviously your name. Now, how many pages matters? So let's say I'm gonna shoot for one page, one page. This is page one of one, right? So keep that in mind, that's very important. So what you're gonna notice here, we have, I'm gonna just do this in the little color here. We have our transition boxes. We have our storyboard where we're gonna do our drawing. We have what scene it is, or what I should say what clip it is, I'm sorry. And then you have a little bit of space to describe your scene. And then we also have a little bit of space down here to take notes as needed, okay? A few things I want you to think about, okay? You should have in your storyboards cuts, transitions, camera angles, camera movement, the subjects, the story development, and set or location. All right, so let's go ahead and head back over here. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do fade in, F-I, fade in. And I'm gonna go, uh, what is it? Dark to light. Okay, now I know that a fade in, if you write fade in, that's dark to light. A wash in is bright into image. We're gonna do a fade in, so that's black to image. And I'm gonna have um, a jar, mayo. I'm not too worried about your drawing skills, okay? Guys, keep that in mind. For this, I'm not worried about your drawing skills. No stick figures, none. But your drawings can be bad, that's okay. Now, obviously a better drawing is better, but you just need to get enough information across that I understand what's happening, okay? I can interpret the camera angle, I can interpret the camera movement, I can interpret uh, what the actor's going to be doing. I should be able to interpret that from your images. And if you need to draw blobs for people, that is fine. So, continue here. I'm gonna have bread. and I'm gonna have bread. Now, if you are the kind of person that's like, hey, this would look a lot better if I added color to it, it'd make more sense, great, add color to it, I love it. We're gonna have a plate right here, that is my environment. We have a wall right there, and then we're gonna have a knife, okay? Not too much, this is gonna be scene one, or clip one, I'm sorry. And then we're going to do Static cam zoom. No, no zoom. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a truck. Truck left. And I'm just gonna take a different color arrow. So I'm going to truck left. Okay. Jump back over here to black. 
Uh, this is going to be a direct cut, just a quick cut. Mm. And this is going to be clip two. It's going to be a fridge. Magnet. Fridge here. This arrow is going to let me know that that fridge is opening. Okay. And this is in a kitchen here. So there's a table and a counter. Okay. And I'm going to do fridge open crash zoom to fridge. Okay. Now my next scene is going to be a direct cut. I like direct cuts. This one is going to be inside the fridge. Okay, so I'm going to have like a milk carton here. I'm going to have um, a pitcher of water, maybe some fruit down here. Up here, I'm going to have my mayonnaise, an onion, a plate. <laughs> we'll put our plate in there. And just a bag of bread. Now, my bag of bread is going to be kind of wrinkly like this. Guys, again, I am a drawing teacher. I can go through and draw this really, really well, but I don't have to because I'm just trying to get the idea across. So now this one's kind of tricky. I'm going to write static, static, and then um, I'm going to draw some arrows. Door opens. Arm scoops out stuff. Okay. So I'm working my th way through this space here, really thinking about what's happening. The story is unfolding. I can see my camera angles. I can see my cut and cut transitions. I can see the story developing. At this point, there's no characters. Uh, we're going to come down here. Uh, I'm going to do direct cut. I'm going to do, this is clip four, and I'm going to do over the shoulder. Now, I want to show you how I'm going to draw people. I can draw people. Dang it. Oh, I lost all my stuff. That's frustrating. Oh, well. Uh, but in this scene here, again, this is four, direct cut. I'm just going to do a head like this in a circle. Shoulders, table, and then they're going to have their mayonnaise in front of them, onion in front of them, things like that. This next scene is going to be uh, an arm with a hand. Now I can draw a hand, but for this I just want to show you the simple Again, I just want to show you the simple things I can draw. I don't want to get worked up in really producing a lot of really high detail because this is kind of quick. It's a suggestion. Now, if I was a professional storyboarder, I would take the time to draw each frame really, really nicely. I would take the time to be very descriptive. It should be a work of art. Also, if I was a professional storyboarder, I wouldn't be doing this by myself. I'd have a team of people to work with. All right, guys. So again, here's the problem. Let's say you go, oh, I don't have a printer, Mr. Riggins. How am I going to get that sheet, print it off, and draw it? Not to worry. We can use a piece of paper. So what I'm going to take, guys, I've got paper. Bam. I've got pencils right there. Now, these are really fancy drawing pencils. You don't need you use whatever. Use a marker, whatever you got. Use a Sharpie. I'm going to use pencils because I like pencils. And then for my straight edge, I am just going to use this box right here. I'm just going to use this box to draw all my straight edges. Okay. So here's how that's going to look. Okay. So here's my piece of paper. I'm simply going to put my box down and draw 
some shapes. Square, shape. And that's not a very good one because remember we are filming horizontally and that's a square. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna work on trying to create the correct composition, square. And if I ran out of space, that's okay. We'll just pick it up right down here. Okay, there's also a section to write what clip I'm on. And there's also, uh, you know what, you don't have to do that. We could just do scene. Okay, and in this, I can do the same thing. I can come over here, I can draw my jar of mayonnaise. Be a little better lid on there. Come on, Mr. Riggins, what are you doing? Mayo. I can have my pieces of bread. Some bread. I can have my plate. I can have my window seal. I can have my knife. Things like that. This is clip one. We're going to do fade. In. I forgot my square, so draw a square right there. All right, so I can go through and do the same thing just with a piece of paper. I just have to draw my squares on right there. It should resemble, oh, oh, come back, come back. Oh, you're not even seeing this, that's okay. It should resemble this, right? So if you have to draw them, look at this template here to help it make sense. You should have six rectangles to draw on. You should have a space to explain your transitions. You should have a space to explain what clip we're on. And you should have a space to make written notes. Okay. Your compositions should be so good. Come back over here. If I was the camera operator, I would know. Oh, what are we doing? Let's do this here. Oh, wait. Hey. Let's zoom in. There we go. I would know, for example, on this scene right here with the hand, I would know that I need to get my camera on the ground. I would know that I need to film Keanu Reeves' hand grabbing the rifle for that quick second. That, sh that scene is maybe a second and a half long. It's quick. Boom. And it's out of there. But my cameraman should be able to look at that and go, ah, that's where the camera needs to go. Okay, you should be thorough enough. You can determine where your cameras should be how they should look, come back over here, and be thorough in your process. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a little bit about how to storyboard. I want you to practice with this, play with this. Uh, it's pretty fun. It should be enjoyable. So I look forward to seeing your guys' super fun sandwich-making storyboards.